Sometimes people do things that make us really angry. Sometimes people are just silly and we lose our patience. Well, there was a man named Hillel Hazakin, a famous tzaddik who was famous for his patience and never lost his temper. <laughs> Well, there were once two men, and they were talking to each other, and they said, what's this deal with this Rebbe Hillel? Does he really never get angry? Well, his friend said, I bet you I can get him to lose his patience. I can make him angry. Not just that, I'll bet you 400 gold coins that I can make Hillel angry. His friend said, okay, I'll take that bet, but if you don't, you gotta pay me 400 gold coins. Guys, don't worry about that. I'm gonna make him angry. What did he do? He waited till it was Erev Shabbos, right before Shabbos, when everyone's really busy. He walked past Rebbe Hillel's house and he said, Hillel, Hillel, where's Hillel? Does anybody know where Hillel lives? Well, they said Hillel lives in that house. Rebbe Hillel heard this guy calling for him. But Rebbe Hillel was in the shower. He had shampoo in his head. He quickly washed out the shampoo. He ran downstairs, got dressed, opened the door and said, my son, I'm Hillel. What can I help you with? He said, I have a question. I need an answer, Rebbe. Hillel said, sure, my son. What's your question? It's a very, very important question. Uh, so how come people from Babylonia, how come their heads are so funny shaped? Now, actually, Hillel was from Babylonia too. So he was actually trying to make fun of Hillel. Hillel stayed calm. Hillel said, that's a great question. Well, actually, is a great answer for you. Because when babies are born in Babylonia, the midwives hold the baby a certain way that creates this funny looking head. But that was a great question. Oh, thank you, Hillel. Thank you, thank you. Good job, Rebbe, good job. And the man went off on his way. A few minutes later, he waited till Hillel was back in the shower. And he came, he said, Hillel, Hillel, I have another question. Rebbe Hillel quickly came, dried himself off, got dressed, came down and with a big smile, he said, my son, what's your question? I have a really important question. Sure, what's your question? Oh, okay, uh, I was wondering, how come the people of the city of Tarmud, how come their eyes are so slanty? Oh, that's a great question, said Hillel. That's a great question. Do you know why? It's because they live in a dusty, sandy area. So their eyes are shaped that way to protect their eyes from the sand. But that's a great question. Oh, thank you, Rebbe. Thank you, thank you. Good job, us. And the man went off on his way. Now it was a few minutes before Shabbos. The man was waiting. He says, I got one last chance to make Hillel angry. Just as it was getting close to Shabbos, he said, Hillel, Hillel, I got an important question. I said, yes, my son. I'm about to go to shul for Shabbos, but tell me, what's your question? He said, oh, very important question, very important question. Uh, how come the feet of the African people, why are their feet so wide and their toes are so big? Oh, said Hillel, that's a great question. Do you know why? Because they live in an area full of swamps and puddles. So their feet are wide to help them walk through this kind of earth. That's a great question. But he could see the man's face was sad. Hillel said, my son, what's the matter? Do you have any more questions? Please ask me whatever you want. He said, are you the famous Hillel that never gets angry? Hillel said, yes. He said, well, you're the worst guy ever. Really? Why? Because you, cause of you, I lost 400 gold coins. I tried to make you angry, but I see that you can't get angry. Hillel smiled at him and said, don't you understand? It's better to lose a thousand gold coins than to lose your temper. Losing your temper, then you lose everything. You lose yourself. Sometimes we can't control what life does. Things will annoy us. Things can make us angry but we could control how we react and feel. Let's be like Hillel and try to always stay calm.